If you watch TV, YouTube, or simply spend your time scrolling through your Instagram feed like so many people do, you've probably seen an ad or two about 5G. No matter where you turn, you're constantly being bombarded with details about the biggest, fastest, or most badass 5G network that's out there. The problem is most people simply have no clue what 5G is or what it can do. So in this video, I've actually partnered with MediaTek to give you guys a look at a handful of different 5G capable devices to show you what they can do in the real world and what 5G is really capable of. So let's get started. If you're a smartphone enthusiast, you're probably very familiar with MediaTek, but for the general consumer, it's a brand that you may not be familiar with, even though you might actually own about a half dozen MediaTek powered devices already. Now, MediaTek is best known for its smartphone chipsets in devices like this, but they also play a huge role in the smart TV sector with about 65% market share. And then there's those smart displays and speakers. You know, all those Alexa speakers that pretty much everybody has scattered throughout their houses, Wi-Fi routers, and also those earbuds and wireless headphones as well, all have MediaTek chipsets inside of them. Needless to say, you're probably surrounded by MediaTek powered devices and don't even know it. And that brings us to the main topic for today's video, 5G, since MediaTek makes a lot of the chipsets that are used to connect to these new high-speed networks. And a lot of people think that 5G is limited to smartphones, but the technology is a lot more versatile than that, which we're gonna show you in a minute. At this point, we've had 5G devices for three to four years now, and most of them have typically been high-end smartphones costing upwards of $1,000. But now, a few years in, the costs have come down dramatically. Case in point, these two phones here, the Revel 6 5G and the Revel 6 Pro 5G are completely free on T-Mobile with 24 monthly bill credits, or there's the option to just buy them outright, starting at $170. And last I checked, that's a whole lot cheaper than 1,000. Both smartphones are powered by a MediaTek Dimensity 700 chipset, which allows them to connect to T-Mobile's 5G network. And even though the price points are incredibly low, they still deliver a well-balanced user experience so that you can keep up with your social media feed, watch movies on your favorite streaming service, or even be productive, you know, by setting a new high score on your favorite game. The phones also feature large HD displays, a triple and a quad camera setup on the back, and then large enough batteries for these devices to last two full days on a single charge. But since this video is about 5G, let's see what kind of speeds we can get on this MediaTek powered device. In the US, the average home internet connection is around 100 megs per second. Let's see if we can beat that. Now, I have to say, these numbers are really impressive. With those 5G speeds, you'll be able to download your games and movies in seconds rather than minutes onto your smartphone. And if you're someone like me, who's constantly on video calls for work or with friends, you'll definitely have the best video connection possible with these 5G speeds. I'm sure we can all agree that 5G on our smartphones and the speeds that we can get here are incredible, but what if you're out and about with a device like this, a laptop or a tablet, and you need an internet connection to get your work done? In most situations like this, people are gonna be trying to connect to any Wi-Fi network that's open at a coffee shop or a small business, but more often than not, those internet connections are incredibly slow, and you honestly never know who's gonna be snooping on your data while you're browsing the web. Fortunately, there is a 5G device for that as well. This here is a T-Mobile 5G hotspot, and it can actually get those same speeds that we saw on the smartphone and share it with any Wi-Fi connected device like a laptop or a tablet. And the good news is, this T-Mobile 5G hotspot actually connects 32 devices at the same time, allowing you and your friends or pretty much any devices that you might have with you to connect at the same time. And on top of that, the MediaTek chipset inside of here is optimized for really great battery life so that you can have your internet connection with you all day long. I have to say that the T-Mobile 5G hotspot will definitely change the way that you think about work while on the go, since you no longer have to worry about where you're gonna get your internet connection for your laptop. Simply pull this out of your bag or your pocket and you're set to go. And honestly, even if you're not in a major metro area that has blanketed 5G coverage, the T-Mobile 5G hotspot also falls back onto 4G networks just to ensure that you have the best connection anywhere you are. 
Now, just as a quick fun fact for those who may not know, a couple years back, my family and I lived full-time in an RV and traveled coast to coast throughout the US visiting national parks and honestly just having an adventure of a lifetime. But I was working full-time while I did this, which means I had a hotspot device like this one to make sure that we had an internet connection to upload YouTube videos, manage our blog, and even just stream videos at night before going to bed. The only downside was at the time, 5G networks were just beginning to roll out, which means the internet speeds we had were a lot slower than what you get with a MediaTek powered 5G hotspot like this one. Today, our road trips are a little bit shorter, but now at least our internet is faster. For this last device, I'm actually back in my home office now because that's exactly where you're gonna use this, T-Mobile's 5G Wi-Fi gateway. With this, you'll actually be able to ditch your home internet connection and replace it with 5G, which surprisingly might actually save you money while also giving you faster internet speeds at home. This Wi-Fi gateway here is a combination modem and router with Wi-Fi 6 integration and beamforming technology that delivers the best connectivity possible to all of your Wi-Fi connected devices that you have scattered throughout your house. Now, getting this set up and connected to T-Mobile's 5G network is incredibly simple. And unlike most other home internet services that require you to make an appointment window for three to four hours so that a technician can come out and then on top of that, take another 45 minutes to set up your cable, DSL, or fiber connection, you can set this thing up in just about five minutes all on your own. All you have to do is download the T-Mobile Home Internet app on your smartphone or your tablet and follow the on-screen instructions to find the best place in your house to place the 5G Wi-Fi gateway. This is usually gonna be right next to a window, but the app will actually show you which side of the house will give you the best internet connection possible. After that, just take the router out of the box, plug it in, and then connect to the network. It's that easy. You can connect up to 64 devices at once, which for most households, even if you're like me and have a lot of smart home devices around your house, should be more than enough. And my family and I have actually been using the T-Mobile 5G connection in our home for about two to three weeks now. And honestly, we haven't had a single issue so far. The 5G network in our area is honestly really good, which means we can stream movies to our TV, play video games online, and for me, the most important thing is just getting work done, uploading videos and getting content out. And as you can see from the speed tests, even with all of these devices connected and running at once, there's still plenty of bandwidth left over. The reason for this is that 5G simply has significantly more network capacity than 4G does, allowing up to 100 times more users or connected devices on the network at a single time. This is also one of the reasons why service providers are waiting until now to launch 5G as a replacement for hardwired home internet connections. The 5G network infrastructure can handle a lot more simultaneous devices on the network before speeds are significantly impacted. But the last piece of the puzzle that makes 5G so appealing is the reduction in latency. 5G promises latency numbers that are under five milliseconds, even though real world numbers typically hover in the low teens, which I've experienced with these devices, matching typically what you can get from a home fiber internet connection. But it's also definitely a lot better than what you can get out of a cable connection. Low latency is incredibly important for things like multiplayer online gaming, especially if you're into cloud gaming, since the controller inputs are registered so much faster with no visual lag between what you're pressing on the controller and what you're seeing on the screen. But it applies to more than just gaming, and it honestly is extremely important for any real-time services, especially things like video calls, where it helps reduce the delay between the callers. I'm sure we've all been on those horrendous calls where there's a noticeable one to two second delay between what you're saying and what people are seeing on the other end. It's definitely not a whole lot of fun, but 5G can fix that. As for the price, you're probably gonna be surprised by this one just a little bit. It's only $50 a month, which is about half of what I currently pay for my home internet connection or about 20% lower than the average home internet monthly bills across the US. Personally, I've been waiting a long time for the day that I can ditch my home internet provider. And now with MediaTek powered 5G devices, just like this one, I finally can. I wanna thank MediaTek for making this video possible. And if you have any questions about any of the devices that I showed off in today's video, make sure you leave them in the comments below. Or if you have questions about 5G as well, I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.